Boys yeah. becoming men, men, men becoming, becoming boys. boys. <laughs> Wolves, that's right. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. Uh, it's been a while since I watched Third Rock yeah. because of Netflix. Damn them. I had just watched that episode. I was like, that's my Halloween costume. <laughs> and my uh, girlfriend went as, uh, uh, you what's got her this. face? The blonde. What's her name? Jane? Oh. Not Jane. I know what? you're talking about. Jenna? Jenna. Jenna. Yeah. When she got promoted to, because she had been on the show for like the third year, so they made her, they automatically, she got a producing credit. So she wore the shirt that said uh, business slut. Oh, yeah. So, oh, because it's Jane Krasinski <laughs> is the name of the actress. Yeah, that's it. That's why you have yeah. the problem. So Sasha, Sasha went as, that's what she dressed as. Yeah. So <laughs> werewolf bar mitzvah and business slut. I mean, I like it. Keep yeah. it in the same universe. Nobody knew. They thought I was just Michael Jackson from the Thriller video. I was like, no. I'm, I'm werewolf. I mean, I'm but werewolf still, that's still kind of, that's something, you know? <laughs> I mean, you should, be, you should be honored that they thought of you in that aspect, you know? That's it's true. Like, I never yeah. thought I could pass for that. Yeah. Mazel tov. Yeah, really. It's werewolf bar mitzvah. <laughs> so you, that would be fitting. I mean, that's the where I started. Tov. All right, guys, I pulled a trick out of the hat for you guys. I just started a recorder like you guys do. Oh, oh this wow. guy. Uh, because... Don't poach our game. Mm. Yeah. Well, I mean, this is uh, episode 90 of Barley and Me. I'm your host, Ben Rice. We're here today Ooh, in nice West zero. Sacramento, California, at Drake's The Barn with uh, Delana Fitzgerald, the That's event coordinator. Mm-hmm. And then with us today, we've got some podcasting royalty. We've got Johnny Flores from Serious Talk Seriously. hi And we'll go with CJ, unless you want me to use your full name, CJ. Nah, the, CJ's fine. No one from uses the my slave name. <laughs> <laughs> My Christian slave name. So. <laughs> my friendship yeah. podcast. Christian, hello, so yeah. hello. Yeah, uh, this is our Christmas episode. Uh, we're going to go ahead and call it either uh, Barley and Friendship Seriously, or I, I personally want to go with Raised in the Barn, as we're at the barn, and uh, <laughs> we're terrible people. And uh, also, Jesus was born in one Christmas. <laughs> Boom, got it all together. Do you think nice. that title's going to go all the way? That's going to be a way long scroll for the people who are what, like yeah, it'll listening cut me off. on radio, you know? It's, it's either or. You can, oh. I'll put it out twice. You can pick which one is more comfortable for you. Uh, we, can, we can each take sections of the show and then make it the same, uh, the different parts of the title. In yeah. our own shows, like that? You could do that, nah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we need a third time if we're going to do that, so. Seems like too much work. Yeah, it's a lot of work. I'm very sorry, Delaney, you have to be it's here all for good. this. I did not know, otherwise I would have booked Jesus today. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> you should have told me that. I would have had my cousin Jesus come over. Mm. Uh, mm. Same thing. It, I mean, it's just, yeah, I mean, it's yeah. pretty much just the same stuff, right? Yeah, absolutely. So, <laughs> I have I have no plans for don't, this. Don't do Ben's job. That's nope. his job. No, please. No. My job is to awkwardly say yeah. so. He's the, <laughs> yeah, he's the one that has to bridge the awkward silence. I, had, I have a question, actually. Oh, go for it. Um, my question is, have you all been to the barn before? No. No, nah, first, first time. Well, I did come... Like during one of the opening days, okay. but it was super busy. Okay. And me being the type of person who doesn't like being around a lot of people, right. that's just me, not on anybody else. I didn't actually come in. I parked for a minute and was like, oh. I'm going to do oh, it. Oh and I was like, no, I'm not going to do it. But that's and, just on me. It's and I came down here when this was the music festival and this uh, wasn't okay. here. Okay. Oh, so see, he, I mean, he was the earliest, I guess. TBD fest. And yeah, I've TBD been here fest. a few times for, for the opening and then for the, uh, the uh, campfire benefit show. Yes. Raised twenty two thousand uh, dollars. Yes, it Damn. actually is nice. around closer to twenty six thousand. Oh, so, wow. yeah. Pretty Once you factor in all the other stuff. Damn it, mm-hmm. Ben, get it right. Figures, well, bro. That was the initial figure before they counted everything. <laughs> oh yeah. <That> <laughs> before <laughs> they got before the the East yeah. Coast closed, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. the West yeah. Coast closed, closed, and they needed to pull yeah. the East. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 The next days, you got to look at the next up. days. Overnight, and Hawaii. Well, I'm happy to have you guys here. Yeah. This is super exciting. Yes, and thank you for your uh, generosity. Oh, yes, Absolutely. the hospitality is um, on top right now. For the holiday season, we've got some holiday beer mixtures. I, I shouldn't call it a mixture. I don't know what the proper... Uh, <laughs> uh, it's a craft cocktail. A craft cocktail. Craft beer cocktail. I thought you said crash. Beer. Cocktails. Yeah, yeah. I was like, I kind of like that. I thought of Kraft, like the cheese company. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't That's know why. Uh, you you're not allowed to say that. Uh, well, we're allowed to say that. Delena cannot use that term uh, in the beer yeah. industry. I'll pass that down to what, you. Velveeta? Oh, uh, there sir. we go. Oh, thanks, so we've man. got the de oh. oh, I see what we're doing. Uh, it, it's a, it's a we have shareable. A, we have a oh. beer oh. called Denogonizer, and we basically put eggnog in it. Uh, I also have another one for you to try, which is the same thing, but instead of using the denogonizer, we have Black Robusto, which is a porter that we have on tap mm. today. Which so, is delicious. These two mm. are the egg Side denogonizer. Note, that was the name of my rap group in high school, Black Robusto. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Not how a many, lot of people know that. How many yeah. albums did you guys put out? Oh, like a solid two or three. Mixed tapes. Oh, oh. Just mm-hmm. tapes. Gotcha. This is back in the day. Almost Yeah, the literal yeah. tapes. Yeah, they were tapes. <laughs> I'm a lot older than you guys, so. 
No. Fair. Not that much older than me, personally. <laughs> oh, I'm probably six I'm, years older, I'm right? I'm 58. Oh, yeah, I always forget well, that I'm you're even older than I imagine. Anyway, no, 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 no. You all look very young, so. Hmm. It's a lot of cosmetic surgery. Strapping, strapping mm. young lads, all of us. What, which one is this that we're tasting? So the one you're tasting now is the de-eggnogonizer with the denogonizer. That's pretty tasty. I like I it say. a lot. Good. Holy moly, this that's really good. good. Yeah. And, I was, and I was apprehensive because I'm not a big fan of eggnog in general. Right. So this is turning a new leaf over here. Mm-hmm. We make pretty much everything from scratch here. So. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's, that is a big uh-huh. part of it. Usually they have a glass blower in the back. Do they? <laughs> I did. I did get this faint smell of burning glass in there. If you yeah. get a real good whiff in there, no, I'm kidding. You, I don't think you can smell that. Can you smell that? What? No one. Anyone? Anyone know? Always. No, no, no. no. I always smell burnt toast, and it's apparently a problem. Uh, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's, I mean, they're having an aneurysm. Yeah, just nonstop. <laughs> Now, uh, you enjoyed this eggnog, de- egg denogonizer. De- yes. The egg denogonizer. Can you say, like, Arnold Schwarzenegger now? The egg denogonizer. The denogonizer. He did now. Come on, Don't Drake's the egg denogonizer? I feel like that's a little bit easier to do. Uh, <laughs> so you, how do you guys feel about actual eggnog? Uh, how do I what? Eggnog. Feelings on it. Real egg. Not real, real eggnog, but uh, without I alcohol. I don't drink it that much, but my girlfriend gets the almond milk. Okay. Eggnog, and I don't mind that. that. It's, nice. it's not too bad. That sounds I'll, nice. I'll have a little sip of it here and there. Is your yeah. girlfriend vegan? Uh, no, she'll eat meat, but she's she's got a lot of dietary restrictions. So, because okay. she's got stomach issues. Okay. I'm gonna segue this into support. No, I'm just kidding. I'm uh, saying way <laughs> to air out your lady's problems on someone's <laughs> podcast, bro. Yeah. Becky has the same things going on. So, perf, let's bring it up. Yeah. Don't worry, okay. Kelsey. I'm not gonna divulge any of your information on this podcast. <laughs> oh, sure, Kelsey from Niagara Falls. You, oh, you, you met, you met her instead of I hate you so much right now. She goes to another school. You don't know her. For yeah. our listeners, this She's podcast Canadian. is it is HIPAA compliant. Uh, so it's fine. I mean, I am. I mean, I, I, I work didn't in sign the medical so. waiver. You better sign that over. Hey, Sorry, I killed that one, bro. I got there's a little bit at the bottom. Oh well, then by all means, it's that delicious. Oh, you so want you a should bit do more it. Of it? No, no, by all means, I don't want to. I, mean, I want to poach anyone well, else's enjoyment. Sharing, and I'm just all for one. one You're the host over here. It is the Christmas, host. so the the spirit of sharing right there. I do appreciate that. This is too much politeness. It, <laughs> is it? <laughs> You're not no, used please, to it, sir. I could not. I could not drink another sip of. But what are you? You're just avoiding the question. What are your feelings on actual <laughs> eggnog? <laughs> I don't even know the last time I had it. Um, I prefer almond milk eggnog. Maybe there it's you just go. a it's the female kick thing. You know, no, I don't I, know what to tell you on that one. I'm but to, I'm not, it's okay. I'm not gonna lie. The dairy's like, probably the problem with it. I can see uh, why an almond milk would egg. be better. Yeah. yeah. I love the lighter. egg. What's your problem? <laughs> it's like drinking ice cream. That's why people don't like it. Oh, yeah. The I thickness it. of it. Just thinking about it in my it's head kind of just is getting me there. You get that egg in the back of your down throat. Mm-hmm. Eggnog she all the thick. time. You know, it's two of the biggest loogie machines in the world. Skittles <laughs> and lemonade. You eat Skittles and you're just all... <laughs> Then if you can eliminate the same thing. Oh, my God. And lemonade does the same thing. You know what I love about that piece of information is it factored eggnog in. Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, like, I love I was like, you know what the two biggest loogie machines are? And he starts talking about eggnog. <laughs> nope, nope. I was like, wait, eggnog? No. Okay, no. Here, eggnog now? No. When you mix it with it? No. Okay, fair enough. I mean, you had me on the edge of my seat the whole time, so kudos to you, good yeah, sir. Yeah, you thought a zig was coming and I zagged. No, you hard no. zag. Yeah. Hard for sure. This, like, this is a straight line. He's like, nope. This has the consistency of when I was a kid, like junior high, early high school, my we went to the state fair and there was like a someone from the milk industry, you know, like where they have the uh, all the different county displays. President okay, Milk yeah, yeah. was there himself? Yeah, the Mr. President milk, milk. Harvey, <laughs> Harvey Harold Milk. Harvey, Harvey milk. Harold Milk. His brother third. Harold. <laughs> Harold Milk. Um, and they had this like milk, bay, this bay of milk little um, handles, and they had different flavored milks that started off normal milk, regular milk, right. strawberry, chocolate, and then they had one that was a root beer flavored milk, and it had the consistency of this. Uh, like, it was a little carbonated, but it still tasted root beer-ish. You, you wild for bringing this it. up. I don't know. This is what that reminded yeah, me of. Yeah, it's kind of root beer floaty. It's like, yeah. it's like I yeah. said, drinking ice cream, but the ice cream's all melted. Do it to it. There's still some carbonation in it. Yeah, woo! <laughs> Nice. For the listeners, Ben danced. Uh, all shoulders. And he's a big white guy, so yes, it was as awkward all as you think it would be. shoulders. Okay. So now you are all <laughs> trying the Black Robusto Deganogonizer, de- but it's Ooh, that sounds Robusto-nizer. Like a, <laughs> sounds like a tongue teaser. And I love the Black Robusto across the board. I was 
Last time I was here was on Nitro, and it was like the best thing. Oh. It was my all-nighter. I was like, that's what I'm my drinking. All-nighter. The rest of the night is this. So good. All right. I'm going to drink this eggnog. You guys already drink this eggnog? Am I behind? Oh, no. We, we, we've been sipping on it a little bit. Oh, we've, been, we've been taking fairly, fairly good shares of shares. We never got CJ's mm. feelings on eggnog. I mean, I thought I'd already been uh, already the forthcoming about it, but that was the first time I tried eggnog in any form. Really? Oh. Yes. Like when I, I'm, that's not a bit or me okay. just trying to be cheeky. Like that's the, cause when you brought it up and you're like, Oh, this stuff with eggnog, I didn't want to say it, but I was like, right. Mm, and it's all know. downhill from here. This was I, a great start. The thing is I, the, the place is, is a gorgeous facility. So I, I trust you guys know what you're doing. Obviously you do, but my own apprehensions of like, I've never tried eggnog before. Right. Like, is this is going to be good or bad. And then as soon as I took that first sip, all that floated away. Like, uh, the the people who do sail sail away sail away sail away sail Inya. away yeah, no that's not in you I know it's not it's in you it's not in you sail away sail away sail away sail away I'm pretty sure it's not say I'm pretty sure I'm willing to bet money no because that's the the ah t y I'm not appropriating yeah. anything I swear to God it's a song <laughs> Dave Chappelle I'm, skit look it up I'm I looking swear. it up right now Inya. I swear oh right. God. All right, so I'm just going to go on the record here. Uh, Black Robusto Diagonizer, Diagnogonizer, uh, is better. Okay. Uh, that right. chocolate and that yeah. roast in there. Taking a vote. Which ones did you I guys mean, like better? I, I would Over have cinnamon. to agree with you. Like, the more I'm sipping on this guy, the is, more I like the, the flavor profile on it. Like, I yeah. feel there's more of that. Like, this is good, yeah. but this is, you know, this is brilliant, but I like this, you know, yeah, as the meme goes. Very sweet. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, Got a lot like more both. things going on. I liked both for sure. Don't straddle. No, no, no. We oh, want to we pick an answer. Pick a like favorite. Both. You're not running for office Probably here. Probably the second. I like Oh, there we go. Second. Uh, yeah. Inya. Orinoco flow. <laughs> sail away. Let me Orinoco. sail. Let the Orinoco flow. Orinoco. But that's the thing. We don't, you don't know if, what's the chorus, though. Is the, sail away. Sail I'll, away. I'll, I don't know what they're away. saying. That's I, it. I feel he's, he's using this for his own nefarious means, to what be honest with you. What are they actually saying? Sail, sail away, away. <laughs> sail, sail away, sail away, no, sail, sail away, like on a boat. Don't go flow. Mm. I mean, but the rest of the song, I don't know. What yeah. For the like... listener, that was not Inya. That was me singing. In case you thought very close. Inya was here, <laughs> pretty much dead on. <laughs> There's one diehard yeah, Inya like fan. Like, it's like a, is that Inya? No, that can't be. Is that... <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna be followed by Enya after this. It's gonna be great. Oh, mm-hmm. That's a tough act to follow. <laughs> Because uh, when I did your podcast, the Friendship Podcast, uh, CJ. Oh, that was uh, fun. That was that a fun was time. Fun. Uh, just so we're all clear, we talked about Cisco being the key to current pop music. Wow. And then he followed me on Twitter and still does. Oh, Both wow. of us. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. Cisco phone systems? Thong, thong Cisco. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Thong, 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 thong Cisco. Enter, release the dragon, Cisco. Dang. Yeah, and he still does. I checked still like maybe does. a week ago. He still <laughs> follows both of us. So, yeah, well, can you tell the story? You got to check to make sure you're not lying. Like, if somebody oh. wants to fact check this, it needs to be still true. Is, is that the yeah. most surprising person to follow you on your I think Twitter? So. I think so. I'm like, what? Yeah. I thought it'd be like a 24 hour thing, and then he'd unfollow. But like, he's still hmm. there. Yeah. I mean, he really doesn't follow many people. He only follows like 140 people. Nah, he's wow. very well on that list. So <laughs> he must have been searching hard. He's like, oh, there's this one episode where all these guys are talking about how I'm the key of pop music. So <laughs> yeah. F it. Key to current pop, yeah. Uh, and then, like, you it's know, in I'm the not, Cisco I, algorithm. I'm not here to take credit for anything, but I just mean, like, four months later, he was back on the radar. I'm just, <laughs> oh. I mean, that's not, that's not a coincidence. Like, I yeah. feel that lined up way too perfectly. Yeah. Because, like, like, four months later, there's no way he would have followed me ever because he was already back on the radar. But he was a desperate artist at the time. Like, Yeah, late 90s, if Twitter was around back then, we'd be like, fuck these guys. I don't yeah. need to follow can them. Can you ask him to perform at the barn? I mean, I, I can probably try. <laughs> I mean, we're pretty good friends. I messaged him a few times. He's like, it's cool. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> Wait, yeah. he, me- he messaged you saying him. it's cool? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I asked him, hey, man, can you come do the show sometimes? Like, where are you at? I'm like, in Sacramento. He's like, I don't travel Less than three thousand oh. dollars, and I was like, I don't pay anything. And Did he like, really say that? No, I never talked oh. to the guy. <laughs> <laughs> I like that seems reasonable to me. <laughs> okay. Johnny's like, well, then I mean, should if I have you it had in a major hit now? song in the late nineties, I feel like. Three thousand dollars to be on someone's show is not right. asking too much. But here's the thing: no. like, it's it's the like, social media era. Y- you can ask anybody anything. Like, you can mess. You can talk to anybody now even celebrities they have like an official instagram and sometimes i'll respond like i sent a message out to a musician from portland when i was up there last year and the only reason he didn't respond he said is he was taking an instant he was taking a social media break mm, mm. coincidence and he's like huh? i would absolutely have done it mm. oh wow. but hit me up next time you're in town i'll do it Dang. so 
I got that one in your back pocket. When I go to Maine, I'm going to hit up Stephen King, you know? Oh, yeah. my goodness. Hit up his son. He might just, be a little bit more. What's he do is say no, you know? He might say, but it seems like he's a beer guy. Or Joe Hill. He, 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 sells Joe Hill. Scripts for, he sells book rights for a dollar. He'd probably be like, yeah, I'll do a, I'll do a podcast Yeah, Brett about Stoltz. Beer. Do you guys know Brett Stoltz? I don't. He, uh, he's from Sacramento, and he's a, he's a writer here. And um, he asked the Stephen King Foundation or whatever it is, hey, can I do a play of one of your super short stories? And uh, they were like, sure, go ahead. Yeah. Like, send us a synopsis of a synopsis of what the uh, or the <laughs> so synopsis. All your, synopsis. So all your synaptic firings of all the ideas you've ever had for this. Find a way to and, get it. And uh, they uh, he sent his little manuscript, and they said, sure, one dollar. Yeah. So they put it on. It's really a it's, it's a dollar. That's cool. He's made his money off yeah. of it. And he's like, don't don't screw it up like The Shining, uh, which <laughs> you know. I mean, true. I feel they could have plays here. Have you guys entertained the idea of having some some theatrical events here at the barn? So theatrical, as in like show, tune like like perform- plays, like some straight up like, like Romeo and up, Juliet like, play stuff, opera stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Not. A live version <laughs> of uh, Waterworld. This okay. Kevin Costner movie, something I mean, like that. It, it is an underrated classic. Yeah. It's a terrible movie, and don't ever remake it for any purpose wow. at all. Wow! Wow! For some reason, just at the barn. The barn now does remakes of water-based or, action <laughs> films that were flops There's a in river 1994. Right there. By the river, I know. It's a good point. You have half the rivers work done. right there. Yeah. yeah. You just get a couple buckets, bring it up here. Get yeah. some. Got water world. Or have people sit on the edge of the. Oh yeah. The barn. Oh, yeah. And they can look in. Put all of our employees up there. The yeah. least barn-looking barn ever. And Dennis Hopper's still alive, right? So no, he pro- passed away. Oh, did he? Oh. Oh. Are you sure? Yeah, he passed away several years ago. Okay. Okay. Uh, oh, in that case, you can't can't get him out of retirement because he retired for a reason. <laughs> CGI oh, oh, nowadays, boy, I think yeah. that's what we do. A right? hologram. Oh, that's true. So how you doing there, Ben? I'm doing great. <laughs> Thank you. No problem. I was just thinking about the events that Atlanta's put on over here over the uh, yeah, just few months been all open. Yeah, kinds of questions. Because I know the uh, campfire benefit one was kind of your big. Uh, yes. Debut on it, of kind sorts. of yeah. So we've only been open for about two months, I think. End of October. It is now Christmas in two days, and we have had a couple of big events. But our biggest one was indeed the Campfire Benefit concert, that was also put together in just ten days, um, because of obviously uh, we wanted to be timely to help out the victims of the campfire in Chico. I am from Chico. It all started because. I had friends and family who lost their homes, and I was like, well, I work at a venue. Why not utilize what I have? And then in about 10 days, me and some friends put together one of the biggest benefit concerts in Sacramento, raised over $25,000. We had Hobo Johnson perform for free. Oh, awesome. Um, And he was here all day. He was here all gosh darn day. He was running all over. Yep. We yeah. had Busting gr- in between. We had yeah. girls <laughs> waiting out front at 9 a.m. just so they could make it for the 7 p.m. show of Hobo Johnson. Damn. Oh, those yeah. kids like that hobo. Yeah. Uh-huh. Those ladies. Yeah. You had yeah. Philharmonic on as well. Philharmonic, uh, Bassey, James Cavern, and we had our host, uh, DJ Seuss, who also rapped on all of their things. It's actually crazy. We were just talking about possible like theatrical shows. It felt like a traveling theatrical show because they are all on each other's tracks. Yeah. And oh, that nice. was kind of an accident. Uh, the host came in last minute, and to my surprise, he rapped on almost everybody's <laughs> stuff. And I was like, well, it's like I put this all together on purpose, which, you know. Happy it accident. Kismet. Happy freaking accident. Honestly, they should all travel and do that again because it was pretty freaking cool. Yeah. Nice. But, um, awesome stuff. We even had a Garibaldi piece. Some of his pieces sell for up to thirty thousand dollars. He donated it for the cause for oh, an nice. art raffle. Damn. Yeah, um, all kinds of just like community warmth. We had people from Paradise. We had people from Sacramento, and it was just a good freaking time, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> it's freaking yeah. good. For the for the listeners, she's she's pounding her hand on the table. You can't sure. see it, but it's very light though. So yeah. it's like she's like I don't want to force, but she's much. restrained. Yeah. Yes, correct. I like that. I respect that move. That is how I would describe myself. <laughs> yeah. Forceful yet restrained. Glenn, I met you a couple of years ago, and it seems like you have you know everybody, yeah. everywhere, uh, all the time. Yeah, I've heard you. that before. And that's the that's kind of the event coordinator's job is like know people and put them in touch with other yeah. people that need to be 
Yeah. In touch with them. Yeah. So my title is events and community manager. Oh, nice. Perfect. I interact with the community on a regular basis. <laughs> Two for um, The crazy part is Ben's girlfriend, Becky, was my favorite comedian in Chico. And I had no idea that oh, they really? were. Yeah. Because I nice. lived in Chico. <laughs> And then I you was... You had no idea they were dating? No. You know so why? Because was... Becky keeps that a hidden secret. Ooh, yeah. Becky, <laughs> yeah. tell me more about that. She's um, not a very social media person. Oh, no. yeah. okay, good. Yeah. So I was actually on the Barley and Me podcast two years ago at Art of Beer because I helped plan that one. And then Becky walked in and I freak out in the middle of the podcast. And I'm like, it's my favorite comedian from Chico. And she's like, yeah, she's coming to see Ben. Like, duh. And I was like, you guys are dating? What? <laughs> Blew my mind. So that's how it all went down. And now it's, you know, I've postponed brunch with Becky for much longer than I should have. So, <laughs> Becky, it's coming, I promise. Yeah. <laughs> Becky's in Chico right now, actually. So oh, you're safe. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> for I'm now. safe for this weekend. Got if it. you leave now, you could get up there in time for brunch. <laughs> Monday brunch, everybody. Oh, at the roost. Ooh. You're not from Chico. Becky is, though. Okay. Do you think I don't know the roost? Yeah. I don't know. Oh, we almost went up there at four in the morning one day. Wow. I just know the little ice cream shop that's kind of, it's like, uh, I don't know the street that it's on. There's a little ice cream shop. I know what you're talking about. My ex-girlfriend grew up in Chico, and that's that's Who else has a girlfriend from Chico? Not I. Okay. So, just me. Yeah, just this, this guy over here. Yeah. yeah, he yeah. had one, but that, I had one. that was yeah, probably so back when you know they had soda fountains and shit like that, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. This was yeah. like the, an ice cream shop up PE at the yeah. end, and, and you had to crank the front of your car yeah. to <laughs> get it going, <laughs> no. and, and the horn sounded like this. Aluga. Yep, that was a good horn sound. <laughs> you should think Chico. about getting into foley, man. It's real good. I want to be the next. Uh, what's his face from? Um, the police academy movies. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that guy. No, no one's ever going to be that yeah, guy. No, 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 yeah, mm, it's too yeah, good. I, the, the gauntlet's been thrown down. I will. I, if you Michael can, Winslow. Yes, mm. I will I'd be like the next Michael, Michael Winslow. Yeah. I mean, respect on remembering the name, but I don't think you will. I mean, <laughs> yeah, he's good. got decades on you. <laughs> I don't think forty three is too late to get into the sound effects. <laughs> you don't think so? Game. <laughs> I'd love to see the documentary that chronicles the rise to your, Michael, your journey. Oh, I thought yeah. uh, No, of Michael your journey. Winslow. No, no, of you. Couldn't it be a side-by-side? <laughs> Here's how Michael Winslow got into the sound effects. By being a novelty, novelty, novelty act in the mid-80s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, he was the top-rated biggest money draw from night from March of 1984 to June of 1984. God, I want to know so I bad that you're wrong. I'll do like, I do like Spaceballs oh. and Police Academy. Plus, he did Police some Academy TV shows. Too. Yeah, he did yeah. a whole bunch of stuff. And then there's also um, Frank What's His Face Wexler. He does. He does uh, sound oh. effects. Also, he's, he was makes like transformer noises. He's Nibbler on Futurama. Oh, wow. Is that Frank oh. Weller? He he's like he, he, well, is it Welker? Welker? I think it's Weller. Weller or is Welker it, or what? Weebler? Wexler? I think it's Welker. Anyway, the point is, John the best. <laughs> there's two of them. There's two guys that do all of them. <laughs> End point on that. Yeah. Good. Next topic. Um, actually, on topic but off topic, you were talking about Arnold Schwarzenegger, kindergarten cop. The first time I watched that, I was very upset. It's not about kindergartners becoming cops. Oh, yeah? That's a fair did, point. Did, yeah. Have you seen it? I have seen it. Yeah. Oh, just me. I, I'm the only one who thought it was about kindergartners becoming cops. Well, that would have been a better. That would have been a better. Movie. I mean, it really would actually. Yeah. Like, I would have loved yeah. to see a whole scene where like they're like trying to fire little guns and they're like, I can't because my little tiny kindergarten <laughs> hand can't grip the gun. And they're you know like, what I'm thinking uh, that movie Cop and a Half might have been called Kindergarten Cop, but it didn't get made in time. He was like, ah, <laughs> oh, oh, great. He also wasn't a, half, a cop right? though. He wasn't a cop as well. He was just some kid following Burt Reynolds around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's oh, I forgot yeah. all about that. Don't movie. you dare forget about Cop and a Half. <laughs> yeah, <man. laughs> that I think it was just a timing thing. They were like, it's going to be called Kindergarten Cop. It's going to be Adorable, <laughs> and they're like, "Well, our Schwarzenegger started making a movie where he goes undercover as a kindergarten teacher, and it's called that." They're like, oh, "That's not a good idea." <laughs> yeah. like, they're already in production. We got to call it something else. <laughs> they're just like, "Ah, oh, they're just throwing up the script they had originally." God damn it! <laughs> I had such a good bit for the chief. <sighs> <laughs> Holding oh, a bottle, a little oh, chief kindergartner. That's yeah. adorable. <laughs> <laughs> little adorable little candy cigar. Like, like get, in, get in here. <laughs> My second year in kindergarten. <laughs> you bringing me this? <laughs> you 
I know you're the new kid around here, but we do things a little different around this kindergarten precinct. We uh, do different things in the PM class. <laughs> <laughs> this ain't your cushy AM shift, punk. Oh, man. When I was in grade school, I had the best scam running for a while. Uh-oh. Uh, I was the AM kid for reading. And then, you know, so you go in. I'd miss the morning cartoons. Yeah. I'd get home in time for the evening cartoons. And one day I was late for school or whatever, and I caught the late bus in. My mom was like, just catch the late bus. Give him a note saying that, you know, you had whatever. And I was like, oh, okay. So I caught the yeah, late bus the in. So I, so I got to watch the morning cartoons, caught the late bus, and then I caught the AM bus back home. I was like, oh, shit. I could catch the morning cartoons and the evening cartoons. Started doing it, and there was two different bus drivers, so they didn't catch on. And then and I did this for how did probably, your teacher not catch on? I don't know. Yeah, I was okay. saying. So you're basically just playing hooky. Yeah, <laughs> playing what you're doing. No, I was. I was actually. I should have been given a really good grade for uh, improvised thought. Yeah, you know, uh, <laughs> creativity. <laughs> that. Yeah, yeah. Thought. I mean, that and is then, a topic. And then one day, the late bus driver did the AM bus route. She's like, I thought you were uh, a late reader, and I was like, Oh, um. Not yeah, today. Th- th- yeah, not today. And <laughs> <laughs> so I go home, and she must have told the teacher right away. And they must have been like, "Wait, that kid hasn't been in class. He hasn't been in for any reading classes like in a month." Mm. And uh, so the next day, I did. I they let me run my scam. <laughs> oh, so <laughs> and they, and they got get, away with it. Yeah, and I was like, "Sweet, nothing." You know, I fooled that adult. My this yeah. nine year old just to fool that adult. Yeah. And then I got home, and my mom was waiting for me. She's like, "Oh." So I see you've been doing uh, your little uh, go to bu- go to school late and come back early routine. I was like, oh, you got me. And you're like, auga. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Next thing you know, she had you going auga because yeah. she probably beat your ass. She did, actually. Yeah, as she should have. <laughs> you deserved Young it. Flores cutting class like that. Listeners, no, don't I, cut class like that. If you're, I think I should have. You're eight years old listening to this beer podcast. <laughs> stop cutting class. It's, it's probably the people who also be, stop drinking. What is going on? Hey, 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 hey! One one day at a time, kids. Okay. I think it's I should have been given snacks. a special accommodation, like Jim Kirk did, when he uh, cheated the Kobayashi Maru test, the no win situation. He cheated, made it so you could win it. They gave him a special accommodation because no one had done that before. Mm-hmm. So. All right. So you're you, looking at the Jim Kirk of Anna Kirchigator Middle School or Elementary School. So you want reparations for that? Is what you want? You want, want at least like special, a little plaque? I don't want or a something? reparation, but I want my accommodations. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Well, if y'all listening, anyone from that school, what was it again? Anna Kirchigator uh, Elementary School. That, you what? made that up. Anna Kirchigator. Uh, yeah. Anna Kirchigator. Anna Kirchigator. It's in South Sac. Ah, it's not Anna Kircha. Gator. What, ki- what kind of gator is that? Is it, where is it it's found? A it's a kirch. Is, it, is it found in Florida? Is no, it's it found, found in the uh, eastern, is it the it? eastern, former eastern Russian blocks. Okay, okay. Um, <laughs> oh shit, Russian blocks. What are you talking about? The Kirshas. God damn it. Uh, uh, this is your show too. Of Sacramento. Yeah, no. <laughs> this is going to be good. And then just there's some in. kids out there that went to Anna Kirchigator. Mm. There are the Anna there, Kirchigator there are Gators. There's some 57 year old men who went to yeah. Anna Kirchigator. Yeah. Who remember it fondly as you do, I'm yeah. sure. Anna Kirchigator drinking the Diego and agonizers. And just <laughs> Anna went to, and I went to high school with a kid named Bucky Van Valkenburg. Of course he did. Why wouldn't you? <laughs> and kids were called Bucky. Did he wear a, did he wear a cape? No, did he was just Bucky Van Valkenburg. Oh, so I, I figured he'd speak Anna with a stuffy English accent. No. No. Buckies don't have English accents. Well, Van Valkenburg's like Dutch, I think. Oh. Yeah. So heavy Dutch accent. Yeah. Wait, it was Van Valkenburg? I think Van Valkenburg. That sounds So he was Dutch a Vulcan. Van Volk. Oh, he was just he put all these things around it just, just to hide the fact that he was a Vulcan. No, yeah. Think about it again. Ooh. How you wow. feel about that one? I don't know. It's that's a reach. Yeah, that's yeah. a reach. I'm, I mean, I'm not going to give you that one. That's a we've reach. all seen them use really bad names in TV shows to cover for their real identities, and they're like Van Volkenberg. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> not, not not Spock. <laughs> Bucky. <laughs> Got him. That was hey, Spock's never know. brother, Bucky. <laughs> was it? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> It was. I don't know. I don't watch Star Trek. What? But yeah. you know enough to know which one it is. But you played your card game. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> what was it real quick? Can, can you do that motion? <laughs> Me throwing cards. Okay. I just want to make sure. Yeah. I mean, that's how we do it. Yeah. What's you, the name you, of that? You throw down Magic the gathering. Yes. You throw down your pointer like, oh, boom, that's my card. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bam. Yeah. Bam. Like, 
that one so right there. So those who magic also Star Trek. That's a given. I'm assuming that Van diagrams I mean, is a lot of overlap. Very overlapping. The, this guy's trying to do there's a thing sliver. where he's like, "Oh no, yeah. oh no, it's like the same thing." Yeah, there's thing, a man. slight sliver on the edge for you and maybe some nah, other person. Well, I mean, if someone who was knowledgeable on the topic, I would maybe listen to him. But since you're just being ignorant about it, you <laughs> know, magic together. You. Uh, Attention all Barley and Me fans, the Art of Beer Invitational is back. Join me at Sacramento's favorite beer event on Friday, January 25th, 2019 at McClellan Conference Center. The event will feature unlimited pours from more than 30 top breweries, small bites from local restaurants, and a brewer's silent auction. The proceeds from that auction will benefit the Make-A-Wish Northeastern and Central California, as well as Northern Nevada chapters. VIP and general admission tickets are on sale now at artofbeerinvitational.com. That's artofbeerinvitational.com. Friday, January 25th, 2019. Well, I've been a Hura from Star Trek for Halloween for about four years now. In a row? In a row. But honestly, I'm just wearing a red outfit, and there's only one black girl on the show, so that's me. I mean, (laughs) yeah. From Star Trek. I mean, and everyone's gonna know it because exactly. it's like it's like the one. It's the one. It, yep. You know. Yeah. What I did not realize is that old dudes are the only ones who like to point out who I am from Star Trek. They're like, "You're just like a Hera," and I'm like, "Ah, okay." Do you do your hair in a beehive like she did? I in tried. The 60s? I tried. I went th- cycled through two boyfriends in the span of my same costume. One was uh, Kirk, and one was Spock. So, Ooh. nice. You know. Same costume, resourcefulness. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it's all about, right? Right. Yeah. I don't do any of them. I can't be anything for Halloween. I've oh, always been lazy. I just uh, don't have anything worth uh, it's the pops. I have nothing that pops. You have a beard. Yeah. You could be Riker. You're tall. You could be Riker it's, from the next generation. Yeah, yeah. I dated a girl whose dad looked just like that guy. Uh, really? He sits in chairs weird also. Does he do the, do the weird, weird step over does step, he, Yeah, step turns seat. the chair around. Yeah. Yeah, he does the same thing. This is the least coolest he, every, guy ever. Every Christmas, every uh, every Christmas, he would be Riker, you know, and not Halloween, just for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> That's his Christmas tradition. Yeah. Like no one's gonna see it coming on Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you want a real surprise? Do when they least expect it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What, what, you expect me to be Santa? No, I do that on <laughs> I do that on Thanksgiving. That's Memorial Day weekend. Yeah, like, you like, sob. Like, it's like, gosh, that's not Easter. Come on, no. get your head get your head in yeah. the game. <laughs> Uh, I can't do. I don't do them. I do. Uh, I do characters instead. Do you guys? What do you guys do for Halloween things? The same stuff that everyone does. I dress up as the most hairiest thing I can think of, and then just roll with it. Uh, really, okay. a lot of werewolves. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of uh, what do you call it? Like Afroy dude, like hippies. You know, obviously Blanca from Street Fighter one Halloween. That was noise. Harry from Harry and the Hendersons. Nah, I haven't no? cycled through that one yet. No, no, nah. Okay. Um, you know, just just a reg. Yeah. Just the right stuff. Uh, I was Richie Tenenbaum one year. That was pretty cool. That's a pretty good one. Yeah. Right. I, they didn't make uh, pinstripe shirts anymore because, like, it makes you look fat. And so they stopped making them, like, in the world. That's so why I had to, like, paint a shirt <laughs> to have <laughs> pinstripes on it. My buddy, is, uh, he was really tall and skinny back then, back in the day. And uh, he shaved his head, and his girlfriend was much shorter than him. And they went as uh, Jack Skellington in the oh, nice. whatever nice. his girlfriend's name. The but he. Girl. Yeah, Doll Girl. Is that her name? Nope. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. What? I don't know. Like, doll, I, don't know doll, I know people don't care about women in movies, he, but they don't he had a Doll uh, Girl, for the love of God. Black suit that he got from a thrift store and just drew, like, a, the fabric pin, drew the white stripes on there. Oh, nice. And um, it was pretty good. So yeah. your partners haven't forced you to do couples costumes? I force. I'm a big Halloween person. Oh, I love Halloween. He's and my, the one forcing. Right. And my girlfriend doesn't yeah. care. So I always ask him, like, do you want to do couples or am I doing the solo? Because if I go solo, there's much more opportunity for costumes for me. Right. And then she'll <laughs> him and haw on it. And then I usually come up with something and she'll go, okay, let's do that. Like yeah. one year we were Cheech and Chong. This year, yeah, yeah this year we were um, uh, Werewolf Bar Mitzvah and Cute. Business Slut. And Spooky Scary. Yeah. <laughs> and and spooky. my ex and I, one year I was an Ewok. And she was Forest Princess Leia. Perfect. So, yeah. mm. you gotta okay. have the, the yeah. specific one, too. You yeah. can't, can't mix that shit. That's yeah. who was hanging out with Wicket. Yeah. yeah no, ain't no one gonna believe that. You know, if it was Trust a regular me, ass I, Princess Leia. I tried to get Palace Slave Leia yeah, costume. Just, that like, yeah. Wasn't yeah. happening? Yeah, it wasn't happening. Yeah. Like, but did you actually try? Were you just like, hey, maybe cool? Slave Leia? And, uh, <laughs> yeah. she's like, that's, no, that's like, the only okay. way you can do it. Yeah, you have to, like, you can't just come in and say it. You gotta, like, brush it. You know, they're really funny costumes. If I was Java and you were 
if you were Princess Leia. No, I'm not doing that. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Um, I was kidding. Uh, that was a joke. It was just, yeah. just a joke. Yeah. It was a funny joke. I was just kidding. One time I was Jimmy Jr. and then my ex was uh, Jimmy Tina. Jr.? Tina from Bob's Burgers. <laughs> oh. oh, wow. Yeah, nice. but it was like in the first season, so nobody knew what we were. Uh, like, that was a really funny show on Fox. You should watch it. It's called Bob Burgers. Yeah. <laughs> but then you have the opportunity to educate everybody who didn't know. Yeah. yeah. You know, and now everyone's about Bob's Burgers. Yeah. And yeah. I do want to do a crossover costume that I have. Uh, I have a, I made a proton pack. Okay. But uh, I want to do a crossover one where you're uh, Steve Venkman. So it's Steve Zizu colors, but okay. on the Ghostbusters outfit. I got you. Okay. So, no grays, uh, blue no. and red. The blue and yellow. The aqua and yellow. Yeah. yeah. Ray, did you mean Ray red, red Venkman? Red for the hat. Red for the hat. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But the gray is what the Ghostbusters usually wore, was the gray colored suits. Yeah, but you do the aqua right, with the you... yellow stripe. I forgot the yellow stripe. Yeah, 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 yeah. And the proton pack would have the same colors. Nice. Yeah. So it shows about beer, right? Yeah. I mean, people say that, <laughs> but I don't really feel like it's the case anymore. And it is the Christmas special about Halloween which, which, costumes. Yeah, the Halloween costumes. Well, like I said, that guy would come as Riker for Christmas, so like it totally ties in that we can do <laughs> Halloween costumes on this episode. There you go. It's yeah. fine. I don't have rules. Holidays. This is very it's the loose. Holiday edition. Yeah, it's, All it's a holiday episode. I just like Remember seeing other people squirm when I don't have any responsibility behind the show, so yeah. it's just nice yeah. for me. I just kind of sit back holidays. and just pop in Poppy when holidays. I want to. You're I thought welcome. about that one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the most wonderful time for a beer. Oh, oh yeah. I wish yeah. I had my sound right there. That's an air horn in yeah. the yeah. oh. Do you feel naked when you're when you have a mic in front of you and there's no air no no soundboard? Not as much anymore since we've been doing the YouTube stuff. So I'm more accustomed to not having my soundboard at the ready. Ah. But you know it. But do you I'm, still feel naked though? A little bit. I mean I always feel he a little naked. I always feel a little, you know, Jennifer, Jennifer Love Hewitt about it, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Bare what? naked and I, yeah, I didn't get can't that. take it. She had a Wait, song, did Bare Naked. Jennifer Love Hewitt tried to do I music. No she did idea. do she did one, she did do music, yeah, sir. This is Please around party of five. All right. But I didn't know that was a song of hers. Oh yeah, no. And there's a trumpet in that chorus and everything. <laughs> Real bright. <laughs> bam, bam, bam. Look it up. <laughs> If you don't care about copyright, <laughs> plug it in. <laughs> you have to come up with a Spotify list for all the songs for this episode, the stuff we've mentioned. The most wonderful Sail time away. for a beer Sail playlist. Away. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. See? So many. And yeah, in the booth. And then yeah. Jennifer Love Hewitt. Yeah, yeah, Bare Naked's the song. Jennifer Love and the Hewitts, I think, was the name of her band. Uh, she missed an opportunity there, but no, yeah. it's just Jennifer Love Hewitt. You know. <laughs> or uh, Hewitt. Hewitt and the Blowfish. That would have been a Lewis good one. Hewitt Lewis in the news. No, yeah. Or, yeah, <laughs> Hewitt Lewis in the news. I mean, uh, Jennifer uh, Love Hewitt in the lot. news. There you go. Oh, that's even better. Just riffing here. We're just riffing. Yeah. I mean, yeah. You, you don't you, you don't rein us in. We're just going to keep going. Yeah. Like, that's just what we do. <laughs> I, I need a beer, so perfect. Keep all, going. Oh, <laughs> oh, really? Don't all you do Hewitt that. puns. Oh, yeah? Uh, yeah. Uh, Hewitt Packard. Well, that's the name. That's no, just his name. That doesn't no, mean. Bands. It's got to be. Oh, it's got to be She met this guy named Steve Packard. They have a duo. It's an acoustic duo. <laughs> like uh, yeah. the chick from The New Girl, she has her acoustic duo. Zoe Deschanel, she has a... Oh, uh, yeah, with right. the uh, she and him. Dab dude, right? Yeah, she and him. So this is no, uh, yeah. Hewlett Packard. <laughs> Hewlett Packard, sorry. Okay. <laughs> See? Hewlett Saved Packard, it. Yeah. Saved uh, it. Bam. Here, I used here to work with this uh, little person, and she loved Dashboard Confessional. And I'd always, whenever she... She would be playing their music or something like that. I was like, who's that singer right now? Bobby Dashboard or Ricky Confessional? And uh, she's like, no, they're not. No. It's one person. I was like, no, I know the name of the band members. And it's Bobby Dashboard and Ricky Confessional. That's their last names. And she was like, no, it's not. And that was it. Did that you ever was... figure out who it was? Uh, it's just one person, I guess. Yeah. I think she knew. Chris Caraba. Yeah. Who, Chris what? Chris Caraba. Caraba? Chris Cross. Yeah. He had a, a band, right, also besides that? Uh, yes, for the scenes forever. Ah, uh, yes. I thought it was Sunny Day Real Estate. I don't know if he's in no, Sunny no, Day. He's not. I think he was the road manager, though, for Bowling for Soup. I don't think ah. that's true at all. I know that's <laughs> not true at all. No, no one but, wants to have no, that job. No, but he was an executive producer for Bowling for Columbine, so like, he's gotten the movies <laughs> the a little movie. bit. And, yeah. Uh, I'm sorry. I apologize. Yeah. This song's yeah. great. It's pretty good. I love the song. The, the ambience here is quite dope, I must say. I will like, say, I, I am... I like to call myself the controller of vibes at the barn. Oh, yeah? Yes. I am in charge of the music, the events, anything that's vibey. 
Blame how'd, it on me. How'd you get into this line of work? Event planning. Complete accident. Uh, really into food, agriculture. Uh, was also into media and started off my segue into doing media for Farm to Fork. As oh, nice. we are in the Farm to Fork capital of America. Oh, that's what we chatted yes, about at, at uh, Art of Art Beer. Of beer. Art yeah. of beer yeah. Man, your memory is not good. <laughs> I'm old, and I've interviewed a lot of people. Yeah, here we, oh, here we go. Not surprised, but yeah, farm to fork stuff. Um, you brought it up, you SOB. I know. I know. I apologize. <laughs> so that segued into me helping plan the farm to fork festival, and now I'm an event planner. So I uh, stepped out of the agriculture food world for a second. Mistake. And I'm back, and now I work for a brewery, which is absolutely perfect. No. Uh Perfect. I can't even say another good thing about it. I love Drake's. The culture here is freaking amazing. The beer is solid across mm-hmm. the board. Oh, absolutely. Do you have like conflicts like during your day because the barn is open pretty late? Yes. And then most people like business meetings and or they want to have like a client meeting. Yes. It's gonna be during the day, right? Yeah. So, so it's gonna be. Yeah, we're actually open for lunch. Um, we have a full service restaurant here. Most people don't know that. Um, we're. In my opinion, probably one of the biggest outdoor beer gardens in California. I can't say for the rest of the country, but I've never seen any facility exist like this. There's a whole crap ton of stuff going on, as you know. We've got the full-service restaurant, a permanent food truck outside. Yeah. You can order tri-tip sandwiches, uh, poutine, any time of the day. We've also got a breakfast sandwich. Um, oh, damn. And then what took two years for this place to open was <laughs> actually our giant... Um, tap uh outdoor tap room uh it's called the bosk bar with a q and mm. it uh bosk 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 you said um, with like a heavy like you know that busky. that was the lizard bounty hunter in uh empire strikes back no, that was what? oh yes it was yeah who's bosk. the bosk yeah i know I <laughs> who's know. the bosk yeah, exactly it's a, it's, a, it's a meme sorry but yeah I, you, I want to call him out on his bullshit all the time but he's he's is that, right is right. that uh what you guys named it after was that uh, Star Wars character? Oh, for sure. The bounty hunter. Uh huh. You know they didn't. Yes, why would you? Because I mean, if I owned a place, it would very be possible. Yeah, we're trying to. Because uh, I did an episode with Drake's with John Galuli, the head brewer yes, there, our brewer. and the end of the episode is us, us nerding out on Star Wars. So it's actually entirely <laughs> possible. That's it's what happened. Really oh well, then he got his like little claws in there. He's like, I'm gonna talk to you about names. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Star Wars nerded. Yep. Yeah. Like, if there's one thing yeah. I'm gonna get in, it's this. You know, yeah. I can do anything about it. Yeah. Like, if yeah. you were opening up this place, there'd probably be, like, Ice Queen from Magic the Gathering. Or yeah, oh, no, of course. Yeah, everyone tree, knows the rememberable tree Ice Queen, right? <laughs> yeah. The so tree aptly guard. named. What? what? Tree Guard? Isn't that his, one tree, of the guy's names? Tree Guard. <laughs> triggered? Nah, whatever. No, he's a I'm tree by this that guards things. <laughs> I'm I am, too. I am, too. <laughs> it's okay. This is offensive towards Magic the Gathering players. <laughs> I mean, uh, it's not fair. The, 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 and they're, if they ever and, and were able to get a date, it would be... Oh hey, hey, uh, hey, to their girlfriends. hey, hey! I'm in a steady relationship, partner. Now what? <laughs> now what you got? Huh? Again, the, the Venn diagram. You're on that outside. I wedge. mean, I am an outsider. <laughs> you're on that sliver, tiny little fingernail sliver. I am a rebel. The oh, exception that proves the rule. I okay. Guess, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Whatever. Like Neo from the Matrix. Yes. I mean, I wouldn't ever go anywhere near that far. But that's no? that's fine. Yeah. That's fair. So. so what- oh, sorry. Good. Okay, what would you guys like to see out at the barn? It's essentially a venue. What would bring you out? Uh, I could tell you what would bring me out is whatever gets my girlfriend out of the house. So if you guys have cider on tap. She... We have cider. Nice. There. Okay, there's one. We have uh, cider. Checkmark. We have cocktails and wine. Nice. Gluten-free options? Um, cocktails and wine. <laughs> if you get gluten-free options, she'll be out here. Okay. But what well, about for entertainment or for other things? She around? likes gluten free entertainers. Mm. Perfect. Oh, okay, perfect, perfect. They want to fill up with those heavy carb entertainments. You yeah. Know? yeah. Well, they make her sick. Here. They make her sick. So they're called carbists. <laughs> <laughs> well, we will have live music on a regular basis, mostly in summer since it's cold yeah. and we're a primarily outdoor venue. But five days a week in summer, live music, all kinds. We just had a performance tonight by yeah. the band Hayes. Some. Jazzy ass stuff. It was some good stuff. And if yeah. you brought your girlfriend, it. she'd probably kiss you because it's cold. We've got fire pits where we serve. That's where you're wrong. I have a bad tooth. And, oh, uh, no. <laughs> so they don't all of them, this guy over here. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean. And soon, 
in this uh, room I'm pointing to, uh, it's going to be a cocktail bar. Okay, perfect. Next oh, nice. I was wondering what was going to happen with that room. Like, is that where I put my coat? That is going to be an upscale cocktail bar. Ooh. Nice. That's going to be a fancy right now, facility. Where they put all their receipts. And you can put like little uh, underground shows in there. Uh, sure. Little, little secrets. Secret secrets. Maybe some open night comedy. No, we never, never an open mic. Stand up. I, <laughs> I would have never comedy. stand up specials. I would be fine with like a small comedy show. I'd never yeah, be fine with an open I mean, mic ever in my life. Don't ever do an open mic. Open so micers don't open deserve mic, this don't do place it. as an open mic. I'll right. say it right there. If you don't yeah. believe me, fight me. Yeah, don't do it. <laughs> Bottom line. <clears throat> I went to an open mic last week. I'm not, that's not to me perform. saying open <laughs> mics are bad. I'm saying this place right <laughs> here isn't for yeah, people who want to yeah. do open mic because yeah. it's too classy. Yeah, there's so much going on here, honestly, that an open mic in the corner would be really confusing. Yes. So. Yeah. I would hate it. Uh, uh, yeah. But the nice part about Sacramento is there's a lot of art, there's a lot of musicians, a lot yes. of poets, a lot of comedians. Yep. You can do anything that is an entertainment type you can do here. Exactly. Yep. Open a, a lot of tables would be a good spot for a Magic the Gathering tournament. I, how do I know you're gonna see? Yeah, I'm first gonna I was, put that on hold. <laughs> first thought I thought you were gonna be like, you could do a real good like wrestling match out here, just have a bunch of people body slam people also, to that's tables. Ridiculous. I'm like, oh, also, nice. the nice part is there's fire pits, so if you want to get out of the magic like, world, you want to throw them all. Yeah, you have a burning yeah. party. Yeah, once you, you burn re- all your cards, <laughs> you lose. Once you realize you've sunk all this money in the cardboard and it means nothing, and you've wasted yeah. your whole life for, on just nothing, and you want to just throw it away. You know, like, and watch it pitch. burn. I think we just made Perfect. a breakthrough with CJ here. No, not really. No. <laughs> I mean, you can try. He's like, no, I, to waste your money. He's like, I came to that realization, came to grips with it, and have moved on. Oh, yeah, I have processed it. Oh, yeah, we're, yeah, we're far past He's that. aware of it, and he is fine. <laughs> yeah, like that realization, like me, like across the freeway. Yeah. Right. <laughs> For real, he's... He's like, it's fine, though. I'm fine. Yeah. Yeah. I have very few things that I really go hard on monetarily. This is one of them, and go it's hard fine. On? Yeah, you know, the things... That, you really get Burning into as far as like cards. having money. You waste your money on stuff oh. that like most uh-huh. people wouldn't spend on. Yeah, like one or two things, and for him, he gets hard on that. the gathering card. I couldn't have explained it any better. Do you right. get like the booster surprise packs? Uh, sometimes I used to back in my like heavy days of messing around with it, but <laughs> now so much I've actually winded it down. He's on, he's on the yeah. nicotine gum version. I, of... I'm on that. I'm on that digital. I'm on that digital <laughs> magic oh, chip. Oh, now. that's right. Uh, so you didn't even know that was going. Play that now. on. Uh, oh, Skyrim. Your YouTube. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Skyrim is actually just an embodiment of no, no. They have an online client. I play it because I can play it at work. That's about it. I play it at work. Oh yeah, I don't. I have a problem with talking about that. <laughs> that's yeah, all I IT. do. Yeah. I mean, that's all I should be doing is playing video games while people wait for my help. Yeah. Oh, this is jam right here. Looking I mean, for problems with the server by playing the game. Yeah. That is a strain on it. I'm we, testing it out. I'm testing out the ports. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's fine. Right. So are you, are you responsible for this vibe right here? This is my vibe. I mean, this is a good jam right hey, here. Thank you. You know what? I'm trying. I hope the mics can pick it up. I did this. Oh, okay, there we go. <laughs> Here, all, all of our powers combined. Everyone's putting their mics to the sky so Not they me. can hear me. I'm going to okay. keep talking. Johnny's going to keep talking. He's going to use it the entire time. Yep. Right. I paid for this. I'm going to... Did you pay for this? No. I was like, I didn't. So you guys suck. I was <laughs> Wait, like, Ben, what? what'd you do? <laughs> and oh, plus, I, I, was, I told Johnny to foot the bill for all of this. Oh, okay. He's like, he's been begging me to be a guest again. So I was like, you know what? If you foot the bill for everything. Much like you can come high on. school and most of my life, I have to pay for my mm-hmm. friendships. Mm-hmm. So. I mean, we've all been there. Have you? No. Nah, I, I, mean, yeah. I mean, I was just trying to make you feel better. Yeah. Did it work? No. Okay, well. This reminds me of how cold and barren my life is. You got to take your shot, you know. <laughs> Would you guys like to try another beer? Well, I felt like everyone collectively looked at me for I some know. reason. Ooh, I'm, I'm not a decision beer. maker. We've got uh, over 50 things on tap here. Or we have 50 taps. We've got a lot of stuff on tap. Okay, so, so there's some multiple taps, but there's still that's still 50 taps. That's a respectable amount of taps. That's too yeah. many. I, that's it's borderline too many. Too many. Borderline too many, yeah. but that's we have thousands of people here at once. So yeah. Yeah, imagine yeah. if you're trying to get something, and like the guy at the other table is trying to get the same thing. And you guys got to wait in line. Wait for that person. You'd much to rather have out. five taps that's of that true. one thing. Yeah, it's yeah. True. Get in, get out, get that beer in your belly, and your little tum tums. Little make, you feel, make you feel all good. Do you guys have resilience on it all by chance? Um, actually, oh, we do. Oh, I will take oh. one for sure. Oh, oh, oh. Let me make sure we're not sold out. But I'm going to go and, and grab fine. you some tasters of the resilience. Thanks. Thank Not you. Much, too, much too appreciated. You guys know the uh, resilience story? No, I haven't. You haven't been following this? No. So also for the campfire fund, Sierra Nevada. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Started yeah, yeah, own boss. fund to raise money for people that were victims of the uh, campfire. Right. And so they created this IPA recipe, an old school IPA, a bit more malty than you're used to if you're an IPA drinker currently. Mm. Uh, and they said, we're going to sell this beer across the nation. 
and every penny we make is going to go to a charity. Oh, no. To help raise things. And like, also, any brewery that wants it on this, we'll give you the recipe. And as long as the money you make, beyond like what you pay for ingredients, <clears throat> yeah, goes to that same charity, you can do that. Oh, and tight. then uh, yeah, fourteen hundred breweries yeah. did. Fourteen hundred breweries. Oh wow! Damn. Yeah, that is yeah, pretty tight. You don't want to be the dick that was yeah. like, "No, we're not making that." Yeah, to help people. No. Yeah, yeah. We don't want to help people. No. Yeah. We just want to keep all the profits for ourselves. I need this tank space for a uh, for tank tops. for a shark tank. I don't. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> for a real tank. So, so I'm very excited. So I've had uh, this will be my fourteenth. Been killing it, going yeah. out on the road. I haven't seen that on yeah. Instagram. You've yeah, that's all my Instagram it. is now is me drinking this beer. You've had one percent. I've had one or point zero zero one percent. I'm about to have one percent of. Uh, yeah. Oh, you're right. It's like point zero zero one percent. Point one percent. I'm not of, checking that math. I'm horrible at it. <laughs> nah, it's bad. No, no, no. I'm right. One percent. I am glad that you went into that though, because I wasn't I wasn't sure on the actual story because I I saw that like there was other people who seemed to be brewing the same type of yeah. beer, and so I was like, oh, is it just like they're all making it just like in like sol- sol- uh, solidarity, which is dope. Like, don't get me wrong, but I was also like, if they're doing it like and they tweak a little bit, that's also super dope as well. So I'm glad yeah. I got the facts straight. Yeah, and there's a little bit of tweaking going on. You can tell the ones that made it like to what the recipe is versus the ones like I'm gonna take it at liberty with it because again, it's not an IPA that you would get at a brewery now for the most part right because sierra nevada was the innovator of what hops could be in a beer for yeah. america and the styles kind of passed it by but once hoppier and sweeter and things like that and that's not what or they, they do. do the thing i hate is where they make your beer taste like something else yeah, yeah. Like, i just want beer it doesn't need to taste like yeah. A cream sickle, just make it taste like a fucking beer. Because it used to be, you know, you have your cascades and your centennial hops, and then like a caramel malt, three C's, put them together, use the caramel malt to balance out the, the bitterness of the hops, give it a little sweetness. People are like, no, 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 people want the bitterness now, or they oh, want. Be, be cool, guys. More Motor, a bike gang just rolled in. <laughs> for, our, Everyone, for our listeners cool. at home, we're going be, be cool. to be terrorized by the rest of the episode. No, we're going to have a fucking rumble. Oh, yeah? I mean, we are 4 4. We're on, we're on four jump bikes here to jump you. <laughs> well, you two are normal height. I'm kind of shorter, so I mean, it's like nah, two and a half versus but, four. But me and you can do like the whole Colossus Wolverine thing where oh, like, I'll throw like you. Yeah. And like, you'll be the like, baseball, baseball special. special. <laughs> yeah. And you'll, like, I like it. Throw them out like that. Yep. You have retractable claws from your forearms, right? No, but I can hold the mic stands in between my fingers. Works even better. Yeah. yeah. So you yeah, can just park them in here, though? I mean, I feel that's kind of a lame move. Like, if you could straight up just park them, like, up in here, I don't see no other people doing that bike shit. Look how big it is in here. I'm just saying. I'm just saying if respect. If it was me, I would have, on this pea gravel, I would have skidded out and knocked up dust nah. on everybody. You know what I'm going to ask him? I'm going to walk him to him and be like, we all raised in a barn? <laughs> <laughs> I did it. I did it. I said, I said the thing. You got it wrong. I said the thing. It's also, uh, if you tear it down, you're still raising it. Mm. No. Spelled differently. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Huh? Huh? Yeah, I feel no, you. Yeah. I see you. I see you over there, baby. Homonyms. I don't know about you guys. I think it's and going great. <laughs> <laughs> it's right, going wonderful. Anyway. <laughs> this is the best podcast I've ever participated in. <laughs> thank, thank you. Thank you for people, having me. People are going to listen and be like, those other two jackasses <laughs> yeah. have podcasts? Like, we thought we were going to get away from them if we listened to something that actually had content to it. Well, now we're doomed. Nope. Yeah, well. My, my listeners know what to expect. I mean, I'd, I'd hope mine do, too, but, I mean, I don't know. They come from a weird set. Yeah, you never know what you're going to get with the Barley and Me podcast. That's Barley what you got to do. Barley and Serious Friendship podcast. For yeah. real. <laughs> no, I thought I was going to contribute something great to that. No. I failed. I felt miserably. Where, yeah. Where's our friend BK tonight? What's he? I, he wasn't invited. I know, but what's he doing? <laughs> I don't know. He's probably working or something. You know, he's probably. I bet you he gives good hugs. I always got the feeling yeah. that he wasn't really a beer guy. No, nah, he's not he's actually. Vodka. That's another thing too. Yeah, yeah. and I knew because I've run into you a few times at like beer events that you are probably a beer guy. Yes, and, I'm out of us. I'm more yeah. of the beer guy than that guy. And like at the time, I only, I only needed one guest. You know, until the other one. Dropped down. <laughs> You're like, yeah, I got this, and, and then like, it's like, oh shit, I don't got and like, this. Then like, oh wait. I hit you guys up a few months ago about the crossover podcast, and now it's a reality. No. Oh, I man. get everything I want. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, so you. this everything. is actually, I just brought it over, not the oh. resilience. Oh. It is uh, called Barn Dog. It is our collaboration with Bike Dog Brewing oh, okay. Company, oh, our nice. West Sack neighbor. So I thought that would be a good try for y'all. Nice. Sack on sack. To Sage. Uh, Prost, y'all. Oh, yeah. From Bike Dog. That's the only guy. Barn I know Dog. That. It's quite tasty. Oh, yeah. That's good. For the listener, <laughs> I uh, can't tell you much about it because I'm not certain on what it all is in there, but it's all good. It's yes. quite tasty. That I agree with you on. For Everything in this cup is all good. 
Yeah. yeah for a Drake smooth. slash bike dog thing, I was like, it's pretty malty. Yeah. Does it taste hoppy? It tastes good. Yeah. I've learned in trying to get into like more beers, like you gotta talk about your feelings like and inside not inside of your head, but outside of your with your words. That way you learn how to say this kind of stuff. Like you just say it like, hmm, yeah, this is very this is a very hoppy taste to it, you know? You don't have to know what it means. You just say it because that way when you do know what it means, you'll feel comfortable saying well, it. Uh, okay. I was one time I, I I think beer does have more sort of like you can add flavors to it, you know. But the bullshit I call is on wine. When they're like, <laughs> I'll go wine tasting theme. with my girlfriend, and they'll be like, um, you'll you'll get notes of um, a jet passing by <laughs> with uh, a little hint of um, someone's uh, gabardine, sunlight falling on a gabardine dress with uh, hints of uh, a love letter that was opened after finding it 10 years later and the person's already passed away. And I'll taste it. I'm like, I don't taste any of that. Yeah. Well, we just use that to give an idea. I was like, well, that's not at all. <laughs> what it tastes like i'm like i just taste like it's a little peppery and they're like yeah. oh yeah that's that's a entryway that's description i was like no that's it that's it tastes what? like red wine <laughs> mm. like oh it tastes like a uh, leather and nicotine i'm like who's, who's eating that yeah. who wants to put that in their body <laughs> yeah. should have said like, it tastes like ub40 yeah. oh nice yeah. it tastes like a uh, pleather with premium luxury Spitz false leather say- oh, okay. Only fools rush in. Yeah, keeping this off the playlist. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like they're trying to get booked here. Yo, I mean, no, yeah. no, nah, I mean, come on, just, man, we Captain and Tino. Nah, not here, man. Not, not here. We got, we got to hone the act first. CJ, right. CJF. Mm. Well, I'll be waiting. That's oh yeah, we have, we have the in here <laughs> inside. <laughs> Fair. I mean, with the great. the lights off, yeah, the door locked, door, door locked, lock, the blinds. It's gonna look like they're drawn because they are. Our biggest pull <laughs> is Thursday night at one p.m. <laughs> just come in. Don't worry if it's dark. Just set up and play. Well, yeah. it's gonna seem like no one's there. <laughs> Trust us. They're listening. They're hiding. They're all, they're rivet. They're like hung on every single yeah. word you're saying. They're, mm-hmm. they're Not hiding really. underneath the, the tables. Mm-hmm. Sounds terrible. So, what's your professional beer podcast profile on this guy right here? Oh, this is a very difficult one. Yeah, because uh, I'm like, I don't know. Is it more like an ESP? Is it more like a subtle red ale that I'm getting? Mm. But I do quite enjoy it. It's not what I expected at all from two places that kind of are known for like their hoppy beers. Yeah, it's a little bit of a curveball for you. Yeah, a big curveball. Honestly, it's a it's a sink and slider over here. But uh, it's like one you can lean into and like you can just get familiar oh yeah, with. I'm, I'm down for it. I'm here. Get I'm funky. here for. I'm here for all the things that aren't popular. Oh, see. Because some of the, most of the I things guess. that aren't popular are pretty cool. Well, no, that is the <laughs> opposite. Make it till you make it. <laughs> there you go. Exactly. If you say it out loud that you're popular, then it'll come true. Yeah, Eventually, I, someone's going to hear you. Speak it into being. Yeah. When my sister was little, she we have uh, uh, these two cousins that are like sisters to us. They're basically a second set of siblings. And my sister was in the second grade, going to the second grade. She wrote them a letter saying... Yeah, I guess I'm getting pretty popular these days. <laughs> when she was seven. We still give her shit to this day about that. Are you she still popular? Oh, yeah. My girl, my sister was actually pretty popular. Oh, wait, the uh, one that was on the show? Yeah. Oh, okay. Apple dumplings? Yeah, apple dumplings. Okay, for sure. My stepsister. Right again. Uh, <laughs> my stepsister was in town this weekend, or a couple weekends ago, mm-hmm. and uh, we all went out to dinner, and we asked her if she had ever heard... Do you remember your grandma doing apple apple dumplings to you? And she's like, "Yeah, vaguely. I remember her saying it once in a while." And so we told her the whole story. And y'all remembered it. She's vividly. like, "Holy <laughs> shit! I don't remember that at all." And I was like, "Yeah, we had the most horrible, disgusting looks on our face." And she was just like, "What?" And um, now to the so uninformed like, listener, like uh, everyone listening, and me and Delena, what is the story? <laughs> yeah, so. There you go, buddy. Now, now you get to tell what it all over again. What episode is that on? Oh, uh, God. I don't remember what that is. I mean, I don't remember what it's called, but the, I don't know the episode number, but the title was The Greatest Story audio. Never Told. <laughs> For reference. Oh, no. It's, the following <laughs> is a reference that you will hear in a moment. It's like episode... 84 that, of the it was a long, podcast. It was a long one. Don't don't worry yeah. about it. <laughs> They're all long ones on your end. True. Uh, True. So my sister and I had uh, – my dad remarried when we were fairly young. I was probably like 10. My sister was about 7 or 8. And um, their grandmother and us didn't get along. This, the, our stepsister's grandmother, she didn't like us. We didn't like her. No, no hiding it. And so one day she had – 
my stepsister, who was like five or six at the time on her lap, going, you're my apple dumpling. And guess what? And that's how she would talk. And she's like, I don't know, Grandma, what? She's like, I love apple dumpling. And when she said <laughs> with that look on your face right there is what we had. We're just all, ugh. <laughs> and she saw the look on her face, and she's like, what? And we're like, ah, nothing. That's that's the way you want to talk to people, go yeah. for it. So. Does she get uh, bumped out of that role to the Goonies for Ma, what's your face? Like, like Ma Fratelli? Running. Yeah, who's second in line? <laughs> no. like, we're going with this oh, one. I love you were apple close. dumpling. So my sister and I do that to each other to this day. Sounds good. You're my scary. apple dumpling, and guess what? I love apple dumpling. <laughs> and the reason it came up on our show was because when uh, his sister and him came on, she, like, apparently, <clears throat> excuse me, apparently he told her, like, oh, have some stuff ready to talk about. And she, like, came with, like, legitimately a list. Like, I don't even know how she thought we were going to get through all these topics, but it was a ton. And the one thing that stood out to both BK and I was there's this one thing called apple dumplings. And we're just like, <laughs> what's up with apple dumplings? And then we get the story. And the thing is, is, I mean, you even did it weirder on our show because you, you got real close to Mike. He's like, you're my little apple dumpling. You're my apple dumpling. There you go. Okay. Yeah, it was really creepy. That's gross. Uh, so. It's like an episode of Goosebumps. <laughs> I kind of felt like it, yeah, a little bit. I mean, after you told that story, I was kind of like. Apple dumpling bumps. I couldn't. I haven't eaten an apple dumpling since, which I don't even yeah. think it's a thing. I don't even well, know how what many an apple, apple dumplings dumpling were you eating before, yeah. though. Zero. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't eaten one before or since. <laughs> but I want to say since. It doesn't make me want to eat anymore. I'll never tell you that. Before, or, or anyway. never again. Right, exactly. Not like eggnog, which, you know, Drake's has turned me around on. Or at least like, your guys' is eggnog. I'll no, say that. No. I'll have to come here specifically for that. Are apple fritters the same as apple dumplings? Are those the same thing? No, no. I don't think so. I didn't think so Absolutely. either. Otherwise, they'd both be apple dumplings or apple well, it could be like a regional thing. You know, we call it a different things somewhere else. Like how know. some people have chow mein where it's actually just like a weird gravy and crispy noodles and it's not really chow mein. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. You're right. AKA blasphemy. Because yeah. like right. chow mein. 100%. It's like, come on. It's like a yeah. Minnesota thing. It's yeah. real gross. It's, yeah. it's, a, it's a Norwegian area thing. Yeah, because my, my mom did that when I was a kid. And now I know it? better. I didn't know better. I, now I know better. And I, I somehow knew. Kind of upset about it. <laughs> Hey, you. Do you love craft beer? Do you love craft beer brewed and bottled here in Northern California? Well, if you do, we got a magazine for you. ABV Magazine is the only local print publication covering Northern California's amazing craft beer and spirits community. Each issue features behind-the-bottle conversations, reviews, booze-based destinations, and a comprehensive guide to breweries, taprooms, bottle shops, and distilleries in Northern California. You can sign up for only a buck a month and have each issue delivered right to your front door. Check it out at abvmagazine.com. And from all of us here at ABV Magazine, cheers and thanks for supporting local craft beer. That's abvmagazine.com, alcohol by volume. You guys aren't from Sacramento? I am. For the uh, most I am. Part. I mean, That's right. You went to the made up high school. I went to elementary Sis- school. Sister Gator. Oh, Anna Gator. Sister Gatorade. That one. <laughs> He's like, can you say the name again? Sister, Sister Gatorade. Anna Kirch Gator, apple dumplings. I don't. I'm going to look this school up. If it's not a <laughs> look thing, it up, dude. I'm going to be no, so dude. mad. Uh, let's put money on it right I will, now. No, no. I'm going to wait until I'm at work. Let's put your. I'm going to wait until it's 2 a.m. and I'm going to text let's you. Let's put your rarest um, Magic the Gathering card. No. Is you this, don't get that. Why would you? Is this a hyphenated name? Like it's Anna Kurtz no, the, Gator. Her first name was Anna, and then uh, whoever they named the school after, and her Kirchigator. last name was Kurtzgator. Still yeah. sounds like an episode of. It's Goosebumps. a machine that crunches Kurtzgates. It Kurtz, yeah, it Kurtzgates. <laughs> it crushes Kurtzgates. It's like a, it's a that's how her family made their money and moved don't to get America. Don't get Was on, on Kurtzgating. Yeah, <laughs> almost sounds like conjugate. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like percolate. Yeah. Bunk, 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 bunk. Well, I still don't means, believe that it yeah, is. Yeah, that's not a real no. thing, and I don't think it's a Googleable. I think it's so far in the past. You have to buy a book. You have to get a book at the library where it breaks down. Maybe like a newsreel section. For what? And uh, a Kurtzgator for microfit. You have to get a you you microfiche. 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 <laughs> microfiche. You remember when they would try and show you that, and you're like, I don't know what the fuck I'm looking at. Yeah. Like a couple of different times throughout your school career, they would take you in and try and show you the microfiche, and you're like, I don't know how anybody finds information on this. And then there'd be like a Julia Roberts movie, and she would, you know, she was investigating a murder or some getting the something. scoop on something, and she would just sit down and instantly know what to look up on the microfiche. She'd be like, 
the fuck? I, I can't even find anything. Well, because she was born in the time when that was like a technology. I, I was, was born in that time. Yeah, but she's like way older than you, I bet. And no, don't forget like that just 20 years, years ago, The Rock came out where he took pictures of a microfiche in order to prove who killed the president. Well, the Rock did this? No, The Rock, the movie The Rock with Nicolas Cage. Oh, and the Rock. Oh, like, yeah, yeah, you yeah. want to know who killed oh. the president? He flips like a photo roll of pictures of a microfiche. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, it's just like, what? Well, the that's when, eyes on that's when you had that cool little, uh, the little micro camera where you just yeah. click, yeah, yeah, yeah. like you push the side thing. God. I think I he like was using like a Kodak party camera. <laughs> <laughs> just, <laughs> I like click. the idea of Dwayne The Rock Johnson more. Yeah. See, I was, the rock. Yeah. I, I I thought that was very. I thought that was one of his I movies. I was like, he would, yeah, yeah. absolutely. 100%. It sounds like a very the rock move to do. Like yeah. if he's in an action movie, he's like, I don't have time to look at all the in the put it in he's a machine. Like, yeah, I'll take care of it. Do it later. Plug it into the computer or something. Yeah. <laughs> or I don't something know. awful. USB. But yeah, microfiche is uh, terrible. It's just the newspaper on a roll. And then you have to know what date you're looking for, and then you gotta. I, do I still a, don't understand it. I didn't yeah. do a project in college that was a a date in history, and then you write about one of the like secondary stories of that day. But the uh, important thing is this part. Of, this was explained to me. I uh, explained to the class the first day of class, uh, but I slept through it. <laughs> I had no idea what the problem wow. was supposed to be. <laughs> but I did ace English by sleeping through that first class. So nice. Because we had to write about our day that day, and I'm, I'm like, well, I slept in my first class, and I wrote it like, in a really good way. It was funny and like enjoyable. Okay. And, uh, yeah, because I, I yelled at my roommate about whose alarm was going off. I'm like, no, man, it's mine. I got it. I'm taking care of it. And it was his. And I turned off his alarm. Like, every, I turned off wow. everybody's alarm while I was sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> and we all missed classes. I was like, fucking. Yeah, it's <laughs> Damn. Up. That reminds me. Uh, when I was in the Navy, uh, the hospital corpsman barracks, they were more like dorms. So it was like two people in a room and. And the guys on on the other side of the wall from us, one of them had like this this booming radio system, you know, and it was a ghetto blaster. No, I don't know. It was, but they would crank that shit up, and then they would leave. And you know, we'd come back to our room. My buddy and I would come back, and this music would just be blasting. We'd bang on the wall or something like that, try and get them to turn it off, and nothing. Like it'd just be going on for hours. And finally, we realized, oh, the junction box is right outside our room. So we would just turn everybody's shit off and then turn it back on. And half the time, these guys would – we wound up becoming friends with them mm-hmm. eventually. But they were like, yeah, when you guys would do that shit, half the time we'd be late for work and we'd get in trouble. And, like, we would turn the junction box off. And did anything happen to you guys? We're like, no, we must have been on a separate thing because I was never late for work for <laughs> once. And our power never turned off. And we're like, you fucking assholes. And like, hey, you guys left your music playing. Loud as fuck. Enti- <laughs> like, for hours, you'd be gone, you dicks. I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah. We'd forget. Yeah. That yeah. seems like a dick move. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't have been friends with them. <laughs> that, that, that is some behavior that would negate any type of possibility of friendship. One of them had a, a really good fine. nickname, uh, Dirty Andrew. He was a really <laughs> gross guy. I, was I imagine it's just when you're in a barracks, it's because, like, he's literally a disgusting human being. Yeah, he was like a gross sli- guy. It's like slime. It's like, why? I got a really gross, like raunchy story about him. If none of you are We don't have time. Him. There's no. Just no time. <laughs> <laughs> Weird how that happened. Just like, <laughs> that, man, speaking yeah. Speaking of, well, really, uh, time. Yeah, we, are, yeah, we yeah, are on a limit. We are on a limit. So I feel like I was. I had an homage to the Serious Talk Seriously podcast by starting recording while we were talking randomly. I was supposed to do my intro like I normally do so i want to do a little homage to the friendship podcast you got any games you want to play oh man no you can't What's be taking no games no what you guys don't no. we got don't one game do got time for one game uh no nah. what you, you don't have you have games i don't know you, you want to play a game from you want to play a game from my sack you want me to reach into my game not I, okay i realize <laughs> now i shouldn't i was trying I know to what you mean, like a scrabble bag yeah. I mean, I was just thinking like Santa's, you know, bag of presents. But yes, I'll go with that as long as no one's referencing my testicles, which I realized now you could are. have been. You we'll put be... it out in the world. Nobody was thinking that until yeah. you brought it up. I mean, no. I did for a split second. No, there I didn't go. think it for See, a second right. at all. But I mean, really, when am I not? I, it's true. Fair yeah. enough. You are thoughtful like you've that. You've seen my uh, no sketchbook. <laughs> no you are thoughtful like that. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you, when I was on the podcast, you tried to bring up games, and I just stonewalled it the whole time. We never got to them. You got mad stonewalled. <laughs> but hey, we, we hey, what we didn't get in games, we got in both getting legitimately followed by Cisco on Twitter. So and also <laughs> like a lot of good music talk. Oh god, a lot so of good fun. Good. That was yeah. a super fun podcast. Right, so what's the game? No, we're not gonna, what, what game you want to play, man? I don't know. I have a, a suggestion. You don't have to take it. Let's do it. Uh, never have I ever. Mm. Holiday edition. Holiday. Oh, see, look at that. You can Running play your with show like, better than you, like man. Two or three fingers or something. There you go. 
Yeah. I've never so played it though, it so I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't you know. You don't know how it works? Never have I ever played. Is that how it works? Never yeah, ever, yeah. ever played the holiday edition of Never yeah. Have I Ever. <laughs> Does that mean you have? Yeah, never have I ever. Yeah. Yeah. Basically, you just want to get people out. People get out if you say, never have I ever drank a beer. And okay. if you've all drank a beer, you'd have to put a finger down. No, no. Okay. The goal is to be the last man standing. All right, we're Keep doing all last your three, up. two, three, two Z's, two. Three. We got, we got a Hunger play Games. With three it. fingers, okay? <laughs> Me and Holiday. Yeah, like what whiskey. the hell's the three yeah. fingers? Yeah. What's the go? film? Now, who's going to start this? Uh, I it. I guess I'll start it. Okay. And we'll go counterclockwise. I'm just avoiding the responsibility. <laughs> I like. I like this. <laughs> the host should really start it. Off. That's. Never. Delayna. Okay, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> Put them yeah. up. Put them up, boy. So, since that's holiday edition, um, never have I ever waited up all night for Santa Claus. Oh, wait. What is. So, I. You pull it back. So have never you done have it? Have you done that? If, if you've, you've done, done it, it, you've got to put a yeah, finger, put a finger down. down. Oh, have I done it? No, I don't think so. I'd always fall asleep. Yeah, no, same. I mean, no. does it, does, does it mean desire or <laughs> actually doing it? Does it that, that does the desire count? Because I had the desire, but I never made no, it past yeah. like if, ten. Only if you did it. Okay, then yeah. Yeah. success. Nah. Oh, oh man, I'm, in the, I'm out of the game. I'm coming. I'm gonna. <laughs> All right, I thought you don't. Put oh my finger god. Down. I thought never, you don't want that. Never have I ever discovered where my parents hid the presents in advance. Cut them uh, open and saw what I was getting that year. Oh no. shit! Well, I didn't cut them open. I mean, well, yeah. I had an exacto knife. I had an exacto knife. It was great. Oh my god! Wait, hold up. Now that's hold very <laughs> specific. I was say, yeah, now. Like, if you ha- found a way to like figure out what it was in advance. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay, figure okay. out. Okay, hold up. Yeah, find I'm... some way to have accessed it to know for sure what it is. <sighs> Fine. All right. Yeah. God damn. But here's Ooh. the thing. The one finger, here's the thing. Not, oh yeah, I should be without the one yeah, finger. Yeah, I was I, you know, Pinky swear. You did that. <laughs> oh yeah. You just I, got yeah. yourself out. I, oh yeah, but I had an exacto knife and I would cut in and I would like boop boop and I would just tip it right back down. I just find the hiding spots. Wow. Oh no! I mean, I went. Okay. I went as far as like Closet. basically breathing like hot air on the presents until like the tape got a little unsticky, <laughs> and then like unfolded it really slow. Like I was like, "Okay, cool, do that," and then I take it off super slowly since it wasn't sticky anymore, and then put a whole new thing of tape on it oh, very nice. slowly. Uh, yeah. I was yeah. I would just like pull the little flap over apart. Oh. I can so, kind of see the box of that. Like, got it. Yeah. So nobody else had my family. We're like every year I got a knife of some sort for Christmas. A knife? <laughs> Always. A Birthdays, knife? Christmas. I was getting knives nonstop. Did you I'm, grow up in the Kodiak? Or? I have no idea why this was a thing that kept happening. <laughs> my dad's like, oh, it's your birthday. I got you a knife. Starting how <laughs> young? Like when I was like seven. They're like, oh, knives. wow, that's not the, knife maybe, appropriate. I don't know why. Maybe just I a little no, comment I, on your defense. It happened until I was like 23. My dad sent me a knife when I was 23 years old. I'm like, when why is this happening? He went into his parents' closet with an exacto knife. Exacto knife and his little <laughs> slit. And that Very was exact. a Christmas present from the yeah, year was before. Was that a Christmas present? That exacto knife you got? Or did you buy that That was one? a birthday present. That was a birthday okay. present. Okay. Okay. Because uh, my aunt owned like a arts and crafts store in a... Uh, in, uh, what town? So your parents got a in, deal in, in, Olymp- in Olympia, nice. in Olympia, Washington, and so like we'd go and get stuff. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Fair. Oh, is it, is it, is it my turn? It's your turn. Okay. Ben right. has one. I'm down to one. Right. I got two. I still have so I'm not going to make it. J Everyone J floor at two. two. All right. Uh, I got to think of one. All right. I think I got one. Uh, never have I ever. Uh, see, it's it's hard because I feel like most of these things I've I've done. Never have I ever. Kiss someone under the mistletoe. Ooh, yeah, I've when, never done that. Never done it. I, or I no, have, I've so. done that. Sorry. I've, never done it. I've done it. All right, well. <laughs> I just down pulled to one? I pulled me I a Ben Rice. Right. is still doing two. All right. Well, got the right, deuces. J, J floor. Uh, Wait, what's the worst kiss you had under the uh, mistletoe? It's worst. the only one that I had. It was, it was this girl. T- it was best and the worst. It was this girl we all kind of... Messed around with, with oh, the Navy. Not I'm canceling the story. <laughs> yeah. I'm canceling the story. <laughs> no, no, you, you, gotta, you dug your withdrawn. grave. Question withdrawn. Question you withdrawn. Dug, you dug your grave, Rice. You got to deal me, with it now. Let me draw you a picture of what happened. Oh, uh, he re- now he's drawing. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Um, it was 1967. <laughs> <laughs> Never. I just come back from yeah. the war. <laughs> yeah. It was, it was my first tour. <laughs> Vietnam was over. Uh, <laughs> I was looking to start a new. Uh, you know the famous picture of somebody kissing somebody. When that's him. That's phone? Johnny. If you look yeah. close enough. <laughs> Never have I ever had to um, holiday too. We got a holiday edition. Holiday yeah, edition. Hol- that's what I'm trying to keep it in. Yeah, it's kind of. It is hard. Um, uh, <laughs> I got. I'm gonna have to skip. I think I got. You, you can't you skip. You can't. You, know, you know, skip. Say you Every did. game has a skip. I'll just, <laughs> no skips. I'll just turn it in a card. Are you reversing. Okay. You're Do drawing. I have to put four? a finger back. 
No. To skip? No. Um, <laughs> you have to cut it off and maybe, put it on the table. Maybe it doesn't have Yakuza to be holidays. Style? Maybe something that happened uh, to you in December. Um, She's giving you way too never, many hours. I know. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you should, yeah. you should really date tame. her. You could be a really tame, boring Yeah, question. I'm trying to think of something. Uh, never have I ever gotten a uh, Masters of the Universe present toy on Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, I was so young, I wouldn't know what yeah, season it was. Bam, I'm out. No. Oh, that's what he wanted to do. He's wanted he's to throw himself out. He's like, I don't want anything to do with this. He's like, I don't want to come up with another question. So, uh. Okay, I feel like I'm, so you're out. But I'm I out. feel like I'm going to get Ben out with this one. Uh-oh. Because I can just feel it. I've never have I ever intentionally spoiled Santa Claus for one of my peers. Spoiled Santa Claus? Yeah. Oh. I don't think so. Wow, I thought That's you'd be cold. that. Yeah. I mean, that is some I cold, that's some cold, cold shit. We are, we are pre-assuming, as a child, I was not very social, so I was not oh. talking to kids. Uh. So. Well, uh, I think we it was like the so reverse. Sneaky, kids were talking know. to you. Right. No. no? No, it was very unpopular. It's okay. <laughs> like the opposite of your... <laughs> <laughs> I'm so popular, and I'm like, no one's talking to me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so All I did right. not do that. Oh, Anybody oh. get a finger down on that one? No, nope, no. Nope. Everyone's oh. keeping quiet. I kept it real. Yeah, no. Every, you know, the parent, that's the parent's job to ruin Santa. Not me. Yeah. yeah. I'm not going to do their job for him. It's like, sack up. <laughs> Never have I ever done nothing for Christmas because I was actually avoiding my family. Oh, my God. I'm doing that this year. <laughs> <laughs> now they're going to know. Yeah, yeah, right? Sorry, No, Mom it's coming out. Oh, wait. It is coming out tomorrow. Oh, well, then there oh. you go. Because you don't have to share a link for a few days. I mean, you're good. <laughs> like, unless you want us to like go through and edit and that part, we'll make uh, it sound also, something. Also, I'm not good at this game. I'm finger down. Oh I'm out. my gosh! Oh. Whoa, every every year, it's every year. Yeah. Wow. Oh man. Never. And he's holding his sides too, like a like a I, sad boy. I never spend the holidays with my family. I'm a real bad. Mm. All right, we're one. Doing, I'm like, we need right, on Christmas me Day. And you. <laughs> one v one. One to one. All right, here we go. Never have I ever sat on Santa's lap at an inappropriate age. Oh <laughs> shit! What's an inappropriate? Are we both out? Because... I mean, I view it. I view it as anything over the age of like six or seven. seven then I'm a hundred percent out. Oh wow! Because... I, was, I was actually going to say like thirteen or fourteen because oh, no. I did it when I was seventeen. Oh, so. Oh. <laughs> It was for a joke, but I mean, I still did it. No, he absolutely did. He like was mumbling because there's a bunch of kids in line, and he's hella mumbling. I was like, he's like, God, and I'm like, look, man, it's a dare. Just let me just get the picture, and I'm out of your way. He 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 didn't even do the whole like, oh, what do you want for Christmas? He was just like, like he looked at me coming up. He's like, did you sit across his lap or did you side saddle? No, no, I'm not side saddling. Did you straddle Santa? Yeah, did you straddle his thigh so that your butthole was touching his thigh? No, no, my butthole was nowhere near his thigh. Uh, All right. right, Well, no, I mean, technically that's wrong because it's like I'm still sitting on his lap. It was like the um, the kiss up. Like the, uh, God, like, like a, I want to, for some reason, I want it to like a, like a Christian Sunday school photo where it's like very like proper and I'm like just like very awkward because like it's not fun for either of us. So we're just sitting here like, I'm just kind of like, was he smiling at least? <laughs> oh no, he wasn't. No, no, okay. no. It was in Sunrise Mall. So I mean, one, he was working out? in Sunrise Mall back then too. What's up? Was your hair grown out back then? Oh, back I, was, then? I mean, I was seventeen, so this is just a this is the shell of its former bl- oh, glory. It's, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, that yeah, shit yeah. was magnificent back then. Yeah. yeah. All right. If anything, he would have been so lucky to have been so close to that gorgeous mane. Yeah. You know, like half but, his face was blocked out by it. Ma- oh, wait, so did you go out too on that one? Uh, yeah. So yeah. I have a tiebreaker question for you guys yeah. because it, you're both out. I've been spending this time not listening to you guys' story. Yeah. I thought of us a question. Uh, never have I ever, this is a tiebreaker question, never have I ever spent Christmas with a person I barely knew. Ooh. Oh, I had to do that before. Um, with a person or like with a person some you people? just met. What define like, meeting? Just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that day. I'm really trying to go with like somebody you just started dating and like, okay, okay, see off. that. Uh, no, but I have with like a friend of a friend who was yeah, like new in town. That's fine too. And but that, I mean, we were latchkey kids, so like, we were. I would often say like you've known for like less than <laughs> two somebody weeks. else's house. You've known them less than two weeks. Well, yeah. you had never met them at all. I mean, I'd go out on that. I mean, if there's, um, if there's a I finger, I would say I'm no. Out. Closest thing was I stayed at this guy's house that I dated for Christmas, and I was with his family. And I didn't know them very well. It was so. like super early in the relationship. Mm, we just weren't really boyfriend and girlfriend, so it was freaking mm, weird. Yeah, 2016, weird. you know. I mean, we got to yeah. go the time. What was the, what was the amount of time at the, before <laughs> then? 
Um, like leading up to that moment. Yeah, maybe a couple months. So I just, I would, I mean, just like they sporadic knew I hookups. Was. I mean, he lived at his parents' house. This was in college. Oh, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I don't know. That's, this is your show. I feel I you mean, decide that breaker. I don't know how rule. winners work. I think that... You don't know how what? Winners, winners work. <laughs> <laughs> I can't identify a winner okay, in the crowd. I, I've, got, I've got a good tiebreaker. Okay. Oldest person to believe in Santa. Whoever was older wins. No, I don't remember. I, that was I, so long ago. And that's the thing. I just had this question, and I couldn't even remember like when I was so, like... So it never got debunked for you. All right. So it's all the... See, I mean, Santa, it had to, though. Maybe or maybe I just two stopped hands. caring. Let me know. Santa wasn't... Santa was brand new by the time I was like two. So... Oh. Yeah. Well, yeah, like they just made it like <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was still. It was just like hey, hey, we got this whole new thing. It was just, we're gonna Santa yeah. Claus come out for all That's the kids. All right. Everybody hand behind his backs. If you need a third hand, you win. Uh, uh-huh. <laughs> okay, I don't. <laughs> Wait, I was <laughs> out. We just were flash, out. just flash. Well, like, I don't know, just, man. Just that, do was, it. that was just a fun yeah. thing. Don't we be all a do it. Don't and be. we'll do a three, two, one. And if your count is three, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's three, what? two, one, fire. Is that fine if we do that? It's one, two, know, three, go. Is how, and if what we, happened? One, two, three, doing? go. What, and you put out your number. You put, you hold out like seven. How yeah. old you were? How old you were, yeah. Oh, oh shit. I don't even remember. Right. I so mean, this is going to be a shot in the dark. <laughs> yeah. All right. One, two, three, go. I don't know. Seven? We have a seven, a, a ten, or oh, seven, eight. eight, and eight, and we have five two for me. We tied again. Someone God. told you about Santa not, not being real. Right. I have five. a lot of older I, siblings. It's hard to say. Actually, I I've been a back. skeptic my whole life. Also. Explains a lot. Yeah. Yep, I was probably of course, seven. If there was any kids sitting around okay. us, we just so destroyed. Yeah. So there you go. Well, those eighty-year-old alcoholic they, listeners we had <laughs> earlier. Like, sorry, no Santa. Also, but she, she she changed. She thinks it's seven. So yeah, if that's was, the case, the I was eight, I so I'm ruined, the oldest. I ruined yeah. Santa for my whole family. So it was all me. Your parents were like what? <laughs> Even your parents were like, well, hold on a second. We knew this going into this. How did we? Well, so the neighbors were having a party on Christmas Eve. I couldn't sleep. I walked out when Santa. Was putting the presents out. Mm. Oh, you're right. I remember how oh. I found out. My uncle was Santa yep. one year, and Mama I saw screamed him. At me. I was like, "That's my uncle Noel." Yeah, I ruined Christmas for our neighborhood one time because I found some Christmas <laughs> this, this snow. One upper over here. <laughs> <laughs> I ruined Christmas for the world by doing this episode. No, uh, well, yeah, that's true. But uh, no, I found some uh, like the snow stuff that you spray in the windows or on the tree, the fake snow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I just. Like knew was finding out how to spell cuss words. Okay. So on our babysitter's next door neighbor on the side of her house in Christmas snow, I wrote "fuck you." <laughs> wow, nice. Damn. And all the neighbors came. never have I ever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, never I have I ever ruined re- re- Christmas, re- 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 <laughs> Christmas snow on the neighbor. side of a house <laughs> for more than five one. people. Jesus. Yes. <laughs> and uh, all the parents came out. And they were all like, "What the hell? Who wrote this?" And I was like, you know, they got all these kids together. It's me, six-year-old Johnny. Yeah, I was like, uh, <laughs> those was last year. Yeah, I was like, he's fucking trying, he's got his bike. No, man, I, do, I, don't, I don't care. Fuck you. So, yeah, I've been sitting here listening to beer podcast, chugging down bitch. <laughs> And Look how you spent snow. It could have been paint. It's real easy to clean off and yeah. responsible. And uh, they were like, who did this? And I was like, I don't know. It's probably an adult. And they're like, no. Because look how low it is. <laughs> I like how that's what they go. With. Oh, no, no. Look how low it is. Not that the one kid who decides to speak out. Excuse Maybe me. an adult had to do it. It's like, yeah. excuse me, adults' knees hurt. They can't be ducking down for that long. It's like I got busted on that one. <laughs> First off, kid, Danny DeVito ain't at this party, so you're bu- your shit out of luck. All right. I got in trouble a lot around that time. I, I found a throwing star and a fence, and I was whipping that thing around, and the parents caught me doing that. Where did no. you live? <laughs> South Sac. Oh, my uh, God. The imaginary <laughs> And then school. another time I found this tiny little, like, novelty deck of uh, nudies, nudie mm-hmm. cards, like playing cards, but they were naked women on them. And it fell out of my pocket sitting in the seat. And uh, our babysitter was like, uh, did you lose something? I was like, no, why? She goes, are you sure you didn't lose something? I was like, no, why? She goes, did you happen to lose a deck of playing cards? I was like, uh, no, those aren't mine. She goes, you were the only kid sitting there. I know they're yours. I was like, oh. I like young oh Johnny Styles. Oh, deny. Yeah, such, deny. A, such a politician. Oh, deny, 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 deny. I feel like his entire childhood is like an 80s film I've seen. I was a kid in the 80s. Yeah. I mean, yeah. As much as we tell him he's old, he was a child of the 80s. I mean, I mean it's for just, the most part. It's that's, that's just the world. The that early was 80s. Yep. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, All right. guys. Uh, we need to leave. 
because this place does have a closing time that oh, we yeah. are past. Mm. Uh, so 909. Quick wrap ups here. Where can we find you guys on the internet? Uh, CJ. I almost said the slave name. <laughs> I almost did. I almost <laughs> fell into it. Uh, Friendship Podcast. You can find us on uh, pretty much anywhere you get iTunes. I- anywhere I- you get I- iTunes? iTunes. Like your uh, computer? Podcast. <laughs> iTunes, Stitcher Radio. There's a Wi-Fi good stuff. signal. You can find us. Uh, our website, thefriendshippodcast.com. Uh, and we also do a little YouTube show called Frenemies where we play video games cooperatively but uncooperatively. Uh, <laughs> you can just search for Frenemies on YouTube spelled incorrectly. Yeah. So it's spelled with an I. It's free amazing. enemies. Yes. Free enemies. Free enemies. enemies. Yes. That's, that's how I thought it was going to be spelled, honestly. I mean, here's the thing. Webster's, I'm not, I'm real quick. Webster's dictionary says it's the other way. We go the other way because we focus on the friend, not the enemy. Ooh. Perfect. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. And uh, my seriously. podcast is available through Ham Radio. <laughs> and uh, no, it's uh, stspodcast.com. And then my comic one, Graphic Novel Explorers Club. You can find that wherever iTunes is available. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard. Um, I'm just Delana, the event planner. Probably find me. You are much and more community than that. manager. Yeah. I'm probably on top of the Capitol, just hanging out. Uh, and I work at the barn. So. Other place, come find me. At Drake's, Drake's the Barn. 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 Drake's Our barn. the Barn. Boom. And there's uh, Ben Rice, the host of Barley and Me. You can find me across the social media at Barley and Me Pod. You can now email me at Barley and Me Pod at gmail.com or Barley and Me Podcast at gmail.com. It's getting crazy in here. A fan made me an email address. <laughs> He's like, I know you keep saying this thing, so maybe stop saying that it's Barley and Me Podcast and then talk about how you don't plan well. Maybe I just like. Give you the podcast. Oh, uh, nice. Email. Yeah. Anyway, so now that one works also. Uh, haven't used it yet because uh, ta- I'm lazy. <laughs> but I am signed in. I could. I could. I just got to write a signature and I don't want to do it. Uh, you guys, this has been episode 90 of Barley and Me. Uh, it's the Barley and Friendship Seriously slash uh, Raised in a Barn yeah. episode. S- hi- uh, hyphen the barn. So I want to think. What was the other one, though? She came up oh, with a yeah. dope one too. Uh, yeah. Happy holidays and a happy new beer. Uh, I did not say that, but it's wonderful. Oh, so it's a wonderful beer. I said it's the most wonderful time for, for a beer. beer. But yeah. that Look, I can't be remembering everything. No, but that was. <laughs> so You're the host. Much that's better. your job. It's not better. Yours is better. And a happy new beer. Oh my gosh, that's and so a happy good. new yeah. beer. But it's also like a hoppy new beer, and it's like all oh, it's like we already used hoppy. We can't do that. It's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all right. I yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you can get shirts at zenthreads.com. It's zen hyphen threads.com. Uh, let's see. Uh, shout out to Jessica Demesio for the awesome logo. Put some enthusiasm in it. And now I'm just like by <laughs> rote. Uh, oh, I was really excited. Uh, lo- the uh, intro music is called Jam Rock by the artist Breeze. It's one of my high school friends. We used to write together for like sketches and stuff. Uh, my friend Brady Bell. Mm. And I got to see him this year for the first time since we were in college. And uh, that was a lot of fun. This has been a good year as far as that goes. Woo. Nice. Yeah. Noise. Yeah, yeah. So check him out. Uh, Breeze, B-R-E-E-Z. No other E after that. Uh, you know, that's really, that's really it. This has been it for 2018. <laughs> Thank you so much for listening. Uh, Thanks for having us on, man. Yeah. 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 Thank you for all the tasty beverages. Yes, absolutely. CJ, no thanks for listening. Get home safe. <laughs>